Hi, I just fibbed in my previous clip saying that I was going to do a, an ad for the Advanced Profit Improvement Conference. Instead, actually, I'm going to practice what I preach about the rules of 5 to 7 and 1 to 10 uh, because I had to go through this a bunch of times. Uh, the rule of 5 to 7 says that the, you can see here, the average adult. Now, there's some people who are above average and below average, and that doesn't really matter. The key is everybody just needs to go through it until they own it in a way that they won't forget it. But the average adult may need to go through something five to seven times, ideally variations, cases on a theme, to holistically understand it and not forget it. And that's sort of when the light bulb goes on. I mean, you'll see, for example, in algebra, you'll learn a new concept and then you have to do homework questions. And they ask you to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them to do the repetitions to start to really get the concept. And then you build, you get building blocks that add up to bigger, you know, uh, concepts and so forth. Um, but to get something and really understand, like the light bulb is, oh, I get it now. I see what that's all about. It's not the same as being able to turn around and teach it, sell it um, with an emotional energy that wins the day. And uh, you know, there's a term called inculcation, meaning, you know, if I walk the talk and I talk the talk and I talk the talk with great emotional fervor, what you're really noticing is, He's, he's leading by example, and since I like him, trust him, I guess I'm going to do it, whatever he's talking about, because I don't understand what he's talking about, because I've only been through it one time. So if we want to be able to teach, sell this story, for example, to a customer who we're losing a lot of money on as to why we need to both change to turn lose-lose to win-win in a diplomatic way, we're going to spend a lot more time uh, for every one unit of time we spend up here, let's say we spent 10 minutes doing the rule of five to seven, we'd have to spend 100 minutes um, practicing it, preaching, teaching, etc., lighting ourselves on fire, so that we would be able to then pat, go, go to a first-time beginner, repetition number one, then number two, number three, um, to get that story across. Now, what's interesting is the first-time students really are going to buy what they see and fo follow, in other words, walk the talk, uh, and they're going to buy the emotion first. You know, John Wesley was one of the founders of the Methodist Church. Someone asked him, well, do you think people really understand conceptually what you're preaching about? And he said, no, they really just come out to watch me burn. Um, and as far as first-time teachers, they're the ones that learn the most because before you teach something, you go practice it over and over and over again, and then you think you really have it, and you start to teach it and realize you just don't have the words. There are gaps in your thinking, and the students ask you questions that you're sort of saying, well, I understand the question, but I'm not sure how to, how to answer it. So it turns out first-time teachers learn a lot more than the first-time student. Okay for the first-time student, they need a lot more repetition. So if you want to have a learning environment, you basically make everybody a teacher. So that's the rule of 5 to 7, 1 to 10, and we'll probably hear it a few more times throughout this uh, Eclip video series. Thank you.